Welcome to our Dan Factoid series. In this edition, we will be addressing dental implants or tooth issues and diving. Keep watching. We received two emails from divers who had questions about diving with dental work, tooth decay and dental implants and we wanted to address it in a single factoid episode. The one was wondering about whether they could go diving and how soon after receiving dental surgery, the other after receiving dental implants. I want to break this down into two parts. The first is the issue of dental barotrauma and the second has to do with the healing aspect of the dental implant. Now as far as barotrauma is concerned, believe it or not, tooth barotrauma is possible. With poor fillings, gas can actually get inside the filling and when the diver ascends at the end of the dive it can literally explode the tooth and shoot the fillings out and we've had an extreme example of someone who had four teeth explode after diving to about 35 meters so you definitely don't want that it's important to have good dental health but as far as the surgery is concerned the surgeon themselves will usually recommend three days to a week prior to diving. I would add to that making your own assessment in terms of pain and the need of pain medication. If you still need pain medication you shouldn't be diving and it takes at least four to five days for a reasonably significant dental extraction suture to heal. So we would recommend at least 72 hours before diving after a tooth extraction. The next issue has to do with dental implants. Now I'm going to provide a little bit of background here because that is important to understand in relation to when diving may or may not be possible. Now what is a dental implant? It's a titanium post or frame that is surgically placed in the jawbone or sometimes in the upper jaw and the intention is to replace a natural tooth root or sometimes a number of teeth. Sometimes it will be there for the placement of a replacement bridge and there are multiple steps in the process of dental implantation and each step has its own restrictions on diving. The steps can be completed simultaneously as a same day implant or sometimes, and this is more common, over an extended period of time. Now of course your own dental or oral surgeon is the best resource for advice, but the following information may be helpful. In general, diving is not recommended until healing is complete and the implant has had adequate time for integration and the appropriate dental restoration is in place. Now as we mentioned the initial step is the extraction of the damaged tooth and at that time there is of course the time of healing for which there should be allowance. Then there's the subsequent placement of the implant and the implant material sometimes depends on the site of the jaw or the jaw density or the thickness of the surrounding bone. Alternatively, the tooth could be extracted and the socket allowed to heal naturally or the implant might be placed at the time of the extraction. The placement of the implant is the most critical step. Your implant specialist will drill a precise hole into the bone and then screw a threaded titanium post into the jaw, lower or upper. Following this procedure, you will then need to avoid diving for 
an extended period of time for osseointegration, which means where the implant actually literally grows into the bone. Fusion of the titanium implant and the surrounding bone is crucial to success. And some implants fail, often about 10% and sometimes more. So anything that would interfere with this integration should be avoided. And one would not want to risk diving and thereby put the implants that are not cheap at risk. So follow your dentist's opinions. Some will suggest a minimum of three months, while others may even go as far as six to twelve months before resuming diving, or any other activities that would put stress on your teeth. So please do follow your dentist's recommendations about healing time. While some dentists may not know about diving, they should have a recommendation of how long to avoid dental stress. The final steps are relatively simple and should not affect diving appreciably. The inserted titanium implant is topped with a small post and the dentist will access the post and place the final appliance. This may be a crown or an anchoring point for a bridge or some similar reconstruction. If osseointegration has already occurred, diving can generally be resumed after a few weeks after the gums have healed. Once the final device or crown is in place, the implant can be treated like any other tooth. Keep it brushed and flossed and it should serve you well. Consider a trial run in the pool to see how the bite wings of your regulator fit the final reconstruction because the practical aspect will be an important point in your diving safety. And on the topic of implants, two quick additional comments. Breast implants, obviously not titanium, are not an issue with diving as long as there has been sufficient recovery, and that is usually six weeks or it may be longer, and again follow the advice of your um, plastic or reconstructive surgeon, but are not an issue with diving. And then there is hip and knee replacements. Again, the period of healing of three weeks to six months should be observed. And very importantly, the titanium may actually influence buoyancy. Divers often find that they tilt to the side of the implant because of its higher density and they may want to adjust their weight belts accordingly. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for your interest and for watching this Dan Factoid. And please post your questions, subscribe to this channel and keep supporting Dan. We rely on your support for these and future podcasts. Preview.